Day YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick fun RAM comparison video between Kubuntu 20.10 on the left and Windows 10 on the right. So without further ado, we'll get into it, load up the system monitor and the task manager on the right there. Now, first of all, I guess first things first, I've allocated four gigabytes of RAM to each of these uh, operating systems just to keep it as fair as possible. Uh, you'll always get a lot of fluctuations in these results, but um, the reason why Kubuntu and Windows 10 might be really good to compare is because a lot of people when they move away from Windows 10, they want to move away to a like a, a flashy Linux distro that's based on Ubuntu or Debian, and that's what Kubuntu gives you. So the very latest release there. Now, first of all, on the right, we're running at 1.8 gigabytes of RAM on boot up, with it, which is just super huge. It is Windows 10, so it's what you get. And on the left-hand side, we have uh, Kubuntu with 645 megabytes of RAM on boot up. So we are looking at maybe about, uh, oh, just uh, went down to 532. So we're definitely looking at about a third of the RAM usage, which is great for your apps. If you've got a lot of apps that you run at the same time, you know, web browsers, IRC, chat clients, you name it, whatever is on Linux, uh, this might be the guy. Kubuntu has come a long way over the years. It used to be a lot more uh, resource intensive, but it's just gone, gotten a lot nicer the way that it works now. Hey, let's drag a yield clock on there and maybe an application dashboard too. Can't say why we'd want that, but uh, that's it. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.